Okay, guys. Um, first, what's your name and maybe what are you doing here in this project? Uh, my name is Jarmo Matintalo and I was uh, writing the project application. Okay. And Part of it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, my name is Hanna Mari Laitala and um, um, I'm in, on this project um, mostly on the administration part. We have been taking care of uh, the Skype meetings and planning of the, the beginning of the project. Okay, fine. And you're both from Kannus, from Finland? Yes. Yes, both? Originally from the Eastern Finland, but at the moment I live in Kannus. Oh. Okay, <laughs> and you like it in Kannus? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now a bit of questions. Um, yes, the project Luxwin, you know, um, it's a it's a youth project. And have you ever before participated in a luck in a youth uh, project? No. Never? There was no project when I was young. <laughs> and when you were older? No, no. no. This, I think this is the first one. Ah, okay. Yeah. And do you like it? Uh, it's very nice. Okay. Yeah, sure. And you? Uh, this is the first time, but um, I think we will definitely try to get more of this because it's uh, a really good uh, way for the youngsters to go abroad and meet uh, new people, new mm. people from foreign countries and make friends. And so it's a it's yeah. good, good way to do it. That's true, yeah. It is. Um, and... So you think too that it's important to support because you are supporting this project. It's important to support youth projects. It's very important because the future lies in the young people who are making the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's very important because most of the uh, young people, they might not have possibility to go abroad without a project. Maybe the financial situation is so that parents can't send them and uh, the other way around is that um, most of the young people don't have courage enough mm -hmm. to go on their own so it's good to go in in a group yeah that's true definitely true okay and um, now we are from Luxembourg <laughs> and have you ever been in Luxembourg I have been driving through Luxembourg once Ooh. from France to Germany have you seen something? Uh, highway, <laughs> gas station, and oh yeah, it was two times. I also flew to Luxembourg once and took a train to France. Oh. So I, I have seen 75% um, of Luxembourg. <laughs> and did you like those 75%? Very nice, very nice. <laughs> okay, and you? I've been uh, there a few times, like him, driving through. And uh, once I visited a farm, I was l looking um, for dogs. I, I raised and breed Australian shepherds, and I oh. went to see some of those in, in Luxembourg. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love uh, Australian shepherds. They are so beautiful. <laughs> okay, um, my last question now. Um, are you interested in video photography? Because that was our main thing in this project. <laughs> Do you know something about it? Um, yes, I... <laughs> Just made my first YouTube clips oh. last winter, <laughs> driving a car and so on. Driving just a car? Yeah, and shooting it with the camera. Through the snow? Yeah, <laughs> I will send it to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you? Um, I use a lot of uh, camera for still photos and um, I have started to use videos as well. Again in my dog hobby. So it's, uh, I see it's a really good way to promote your, whatever you are doing. If you are a sportsman or athlete, or you try to sell something, or you want to tell us something about yourself, it's much more wiser to do it with a good video than, than just telling that, well, I do this or that, or I have this kind of dog. <laughs> so it's easier for people to see. And if you can make it to look good, it's easier to, make people think that yeah. you have good things yeah. so it's really important That's true. Uh, one more thing it, i think it is the today's media work and mm -hmm. so on I, I used to have an old video camera and i was filming my wife riding mm -hmm. and then we looked at what kind of a riding she made but mm -hmm. it was no internet and digital uh, systems at that mm -hmm. time so this is great yeah 
Yeah, it's changed and it's an advantage nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> no, we thank you. <laughs> so, hello guys. How are you? Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, what's your name? Pipa Persinen. Katri Kulkki. Jouko Karilainen. Oh, and um, how are you involved? Because we're here doing an interview about the Luxfin project, like you know. And how are you involved in this project? So what was your job during uh, the project? Uh, my students are here in the project, so I was with them, uh, helping them to do the project and helping them with uh, general issues of traveling, etc. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I'm in the project because I'm, I'm working with uh, all kinds of interna international projects at the Rural Institute. And so I've been mainly doing the administration and also get to go to Luxembourg for the first Lux week. So. You have never been before in Luxembourg? No, no, never before. And my job was quite the same as Pippa, so I was uh, supervising my for students and well quite same as Pippa's job. Oh that's great. So did you like uh, Luxembourg or what was your favorite place in Luxembourg? Uh, I think the castles were the most beautiful places oh, yeah, there yeah. because yeah you have a lot of castles and we don't have that kind of castles in Finland so I think they were the best and also the small towns the villages and with all the uh, flowers and small houses and I think that was the best. I also like the landscape a lot since we have a really flat here yeah. and you have the beautiful hills and the beautiful small villages and the white stone houses so I think yeah. that was really beautiful. Okay I love history so those old castles were very impressive. Okay, so uh, you both have uh, you ever been to Luxembourg before? No, never. No. I have been once. Yeah. So I have been once. Get there? By plane. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> so why? Uh, why uh, uh, I was with two women. Uh, we were uh, scouting the area uh, for another project. What didn't happen? So. I get another chance and it get well quite good. So you uh, the first project didn't work? No. No. Okay. Um, what about Project Luxfin? Would you like to participate again in such a project? Or um, do you think it's, that it is important to um, work with young people? Mm, I think uh, this was quite nice to our school because uh, it was a different kind of project. Uh, our girls mainly have something to do with animals, dogs, mm -hmm. and uh, this was nothing to do, do with dogs. Yeah. This was about international uh, affairs and uh, exchange and experiences and uh, filming. So I think this was quite nice because it was different what we are doing. So it would be nice to have some kind of project or, again. Mm, I, I think it was a nice nice project and I think too for the, for the young people it's really important to have these international connections and also these media skills you can use yeah. any profession or any studies nowadays it's good to learn how to work with the photos and the videos so I think was it was really nice. Mm, if I think uh, students in our school these kind of projects are very good and for them, yes, myself, maybe, I don't know. When you were young, uh, did you have a um, project like looks things so with ex exchange or uh, anything like that? Mm, I think we had normal exchange students going abroad and study there, but uh, I don't remember anything like this, like this kind of projects because we weren't then in the European Union mm -hmm. and this is European okay. Union project so I think this has brought us some new aspects in project work. 
Mm, I think so too. At the at the high school, some of the students might go abroad for a few weeks or something, and then at the university, I think there was this Erasmus, Erasmus, yes, something like that exchanges. But I don't remember we were talking about any other projects. No. So what you know. Erasmus? Erasmus is this. Um, Nowadays it's European Union program, yeah. but I don't it, know. It, it wasn't then. How how was it? But it's it's you know for for the university students oh, okay. exchange okay. possibilities they are arranging. Yeah. Like an organization for exchange. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think so. I'm not yeah. sure how how was it back then. No. But I think now Somebody. we still have these uh, these uh, lifelong learning programs that are doing the same that that students have possibility to go abroad to study or to work. Yeah, okay. Uh, we hadn't any this kind of projects. <laughs> so um, that's the last question. Are you any interested in photography or uh, filming or have you uh, known anything about uh, photography and filming before the project? I think I'm the one who knows the least of filming and photography <laughs> in this group because I think Joko knows a lot, mm. Katri also knows a lot, and I know nothing. <laughs> but uh, but now, you have now, I, now I know something. Yeah. yeah, now I know something. And I mainly, if I'm doing filming, I'm doing for documentary purposes. So I'm f mainly filming me and my dogs doing something training. So it's quite. Yeah. N it's not like a uh, artistic way. It's it's just to get the idea of what we are doing. So mm -hmm. this is quite new to me. This kind of project and working with filming of But and it photography. Was it was interesting. Yes. Um, I have a camera and I take photos. Yeah. But, <laughs> but and I try to edit them a bit. But I would like to learn a lot more. Mm -hmm. And videos. I I don't usually shoot videos. Mm -hmm. So that's. That's a new thing to me, and it would be nice to learn also how to edit them and what to do with the videos too. Uh, I'm an art teacher, so I'm very interested of taking photos and filming, and I want to learn more. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, it was nice uh, to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do we say Adi? Adi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>